How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays, and today we're continuing in Those Who Remain. We just got access to this room via the, sh the Shadow World, or the Shadow Realm, however you want to call it. Uh, oh, looks like everything's going up. I don't know what that is, but it's doing something. We love mail. Oh, that's, that's actually creepy, because she still has the same hair. I forgot this note. The giant doesn't talk, yet he told me about the birds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? Oh. This corpse is hanging from the trees. Car on fire. There's mother. I can't move. The car. The accident. Wait. What? Was I involved in Annika's death somehow? So mother is definitely Annika's mother. She's trying to seek revenge or something. What is this? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not doing music. I just fall off? I can just fall off. I don't... Nope, that was not the correct option, though. <laughs> Alright, cool. So yes, I can certainly fall off of the uh, the building there. It's just not the smart thing to do. Let's go ahead, just run back here. We know exactly where we need to go. Place doesn't seem. Oh, but we get the cutscene. So I'll just jump ahead for you guys. Okay, so we're back here. Let's see, a lot of doors and a radio, and then oh, what's I actually didn't look at this. Oh, it's just a picture. Well, let's turn that radio on. There's something I want to do here. No. Oh! Oh! Everything... Everything just fell. Oh! Oh! God! Oh! God! The radio poofed away. Oh! It's moving everything closer to me! Oh! Cool! Okay, so... Oh yeah, turn the radios on is what I want to do. Okay. Yeah, I have questions and money concerns. Um... Okay, the chairs are all now against that wall. So, yeah, here's another radio. We're gonna interact with that one. 13. 5, 13. 7, 9, 13. Okay. We did it. We have solved the puzzle. I don't know what I did. I found 13. Oh, door poofed away. Okay. 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 Now what? You are speaking just like I am, dude. The giant also told me about your accident. Wait, the the giant, the thing with the light, maybe? Keeps being door thirteen. I keep expecting to turn around and have mother chasing me or something like this now. I mean, like long hallways just seem ripe for a, a chase encounter. This is a very long hallway. There's thirteen again. Definitely walk in circles here. Yep. I'm guessing I only want to interact with the doors out of 13. Judging by the fact that the other doors don't have numbers. Actually, no, that makes sense, because why would you have numbers on the inside of a door? Maybe you'd have like, a little placard saying, this is, you're in room 13, the event of fire, do these steps. Okay, can I go this way? Yes, I can. Okay, 13. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's another 13. Oh, okay, so things are changing. I did have to actually sw switch around. And we are in a locker room again. Is this the post office? Doesn't really look like one, but I also don't know if post offices have locker rooms. I'm assuming they would have to, because, I mean, mailmen have to change. Or mail carriers, sorry. Have to change. Let's open up all these lockers while we're at it, because God knows why not. Uh, anything in here? Nothing seen so far. I can only assume that there's going to be a clue in one of these lockers. And if there's not, I'm going to be like, well, I, great. I wasted my time. And your time. Everyone's time. Time is meaningless. Alright, we're down to the last few lockers. So. Great, I wasted my time. I wasted your time. I wasted everyone's time because time is meaningless. Alright, I guess we go up this way. Okay. Oh, I'm bringing something down. Am I? 
Oh, there's a door. Oh, okay, so that's this door. All right, so that's how we got through this way. Interesting. And now where do I go? Is there... Is this... Nope. This is where I started at. That's that again. Hmm. There's nothing here. No notes, no nothing. It's gotta be something I can interact with somewhere. Oh, oh, here you go. I can get back. Real traffic accident. So a survivor? Two others in the car. Frontal crash. Doesn't look good. Okay, prep the room, give me six units. Abdominal wound. Left upper quadrant, lateral wound, deep cut. It's lost a significant amount of blood. Breath sounds bilaterally, heart sounds one and two. A bit muffed. He has an I.O. in the right tibia, BP-70, systolic, pulse 136. Family. Where are they? Calm down, sir. You're gonna be all right. I didn't ask myself. Morphine? Transamic? Just a gram of tranexamic. Okay, we're good. Wait. I need to know they're safe. Sir, you need to calm down. Use the ambu bags. Help him with his breath. An ultrasound him, please. Andrew! Rosie! Do it. Hmm. Was that accurate? I don't know. My wife probably would. She knows a lot about medical. Get out of the building! Uh, okay. What? What the fuck, I go. Annika? Where am I meant to go? Yeah, everything's bad. Shit. Not again. Leave me alone. Oh. Yep, there she is. Uh, oh. Things are happening. Yeah. Uh, just run. Just run. I can't see much of anything. Oh, there's a hole in the ground. Yeah, just, let's just plumb it. Why not? No. This is creepy. Yeah, just having a bed and some tables and stuff here. That's very weird. Here's some notes, though. I gotta read these. Dear Mr. District Attorney, My name is Aaron Krasua. I'm not sure whether you received my previous letters, but I'm writing one more time in the hope that you'll hear my story. My daughter Annika and I came to Dormant to get away from the city. All we wanted was a simple place to live, and this town seemed to be what we were looking for. Sadly, even the first day, everyone looked at us like we didn't belong here. It didn't bother me, but Annika suffered from it. It started with just stares, but then it got worse. My daughter was viciously attacked by a group of town kids who enjoyed preying on anyone they think that's, that's weaker or different. I complained to the school principal. I complained to the sheriff who happens to be the father of one of those kids. I complained to everyone I could, but all I got in return was, it's just kids playing pranks. One of those pranks went too far, and now my daughter is dead. Everyone knows who did it, but no one does anything. Everyone in town is covering the kids responsible for Annika's death. The sheriff won't do anything. He says the case is closed. I bet he didn't even investigate because his son is involved. Please, can you help me? All I want is to have justice for my daughter. Sincerely, sincerely, Aaron Krizia. Post office chief was holding onto Aaron's desperate letters. Oh wow! So the letters he sent to the senator. So yeah, every letter she sent to the DA was going was just getting intercepted by the post office. That's crazy. Tom, I want you to pull aside all the mail that Aaron Krizia brings here. She's just trying to bring unnecessary attention to dormant. Yes, it was a tragedy that her daughter died, but it was an accident. The three other kids involved don't need their lives ruined too. She will eventually get over it. That's a dick move to say. Okay, so Ben was apparently following orders from Tom. I don't know if she read the letters or not, though. That's actually a very important part. If he read the letters and he knew that the, about the involvement of of um, of Desmond, that would be, I feel like, more damning for Ben. If he did not read the letters, then he was just following what he was told to try to protect the city and thought he was doing all right. Dear Daily Look, my name is Aaron Krizio. I'm writing you again, hoping you'll hear what I want to say. My daughter Annika and I came to dormant to get away from the city. All we wanted... Okay, but this is the same note. Yep. Yeah, this is the exact same note. She sent it to the Daily Look as well as the DA. All right. So I don't have to read the whole thing at least. Where do I go then? Do I just hop in bed, fall asleep, take a nap? So I'm just going to run away from here. That what I want to do. Do I want to, do I want to run away? I'm just leaving... I just farewell world. No, I hit a, I hit a I hit a wall. There's gonna be something else I gotta do with this then. Hmm. I wanna pick up the chair and throw it or something. Yeah, I can pick up the chair. 
Yeah, just make a mess. Shut up. There you go. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, not sure what exactly it needs me to do. Behind the bed, maybe. Just keep running. I don't. Oh, oh, side tables. Um, side drawers. There you go. It's a tragedy what happened to that girl, but an accident is an accident. If Jack says there's no foul play, then I'm sure there wasn't. He's the sheriff. We have to believe him. Erin is grieving and she needs to blame someone for her daughter's death. She's sending letters to newspapers and TV anchors to see if she can bring attention to what she believes is murder. No one wants to turn this town into a press circus. What's done is done. It's time to move on. I'm going to ask Tom to put all her mail aside. He'll understand. They were related. He was protecting him like the police chief. All right, so that actually clears up a lot of my questions actually now, too. Um, Tom wasn't aware of the, the involvement. He was just... Ben Harris, the post office chief. He loved his quiet life with his books and his dogs. And he has to help in church and organize trips for children. Life was good. But then his nephew, Mark, got in trouble. There was an accident and a girl got killed. The case was closed. But her mother was sending letters denouncing what happened to everyone she could. Ben was sorry for the girl. But he had to protect Mark. So he made sure the woman's letters never left Doramont. No one would know. Ben is someone who could be considered a decent man. But he helped cover up the death of Annika to protect his nephew. Should Ben Harris be forgiven? Or pay for his crime? I feel that go again. Yeah, I feel that Ben is relatively innocent. He wasn't aware of what, what he, he wasn't aware of the full scope of everything involved, and was just following orders. I'm gonna say forgive him. It's some mail. No one deserves to go to hell for that. That's the first time we actually. Saved someone. I didn't realize that's what happened. They just walk away. I find a way out. Cool. Oh, he found a way out. There's a giant gaping hole there. What is this? Oh, trash bags. And a barrel fire. And the top of a barrel. With some blood and or rust on it. What is this? Wait, 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 no. People? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Yeah, they didn't make it. Man left them behind. Mm, they did not make it. They just got they got straight up murked. This is not good. I don't I burn trash or something? How you doing with your knife there? You look really cool. Oh, there's a door here. This door was not there previously. Pretty sure of that. Oh, okay. Oh god, stop with the blinding blue light. Jeez. All right, when you're in hell, only a devil can point the way out. Joe Abercrombie. Like, as of Abercrombie and Fitch? I don't think that's him. But, sure. I'm in someone's house. That's always something you just want to say. I'm in someone's house. Oh, hello. Well, let's go ahead and turn this light on and stop you from being there. And some notes. Awesome. Desmond, don't touch my World War II memorabilia. These are not toys. I don't enjoy punishing you. Why do you insist on breaking my rules, Dad? So, I thought it was Hayden that's dad was abusive. I, I know if someone goes inside my office. My office is my private area. Don't forget don't that. Don't go into dad. their office. No, Dad. You know what I'm doing first, then. Let's see. That's locked. Okay, that's good to know. I guess that means I should probably open up everything, then. Just to know that when something's locked, it's locked. Hang in there. Some nice cabinets, actually. I don't want to redo my kitchen now that my bathroom's all done up. Well, that's probably gonna be like another couple of years until we save up for that. The bathroom was more than enough as it was. I mean, cost-wise, it actually wasn't that bad, but just time and effort involved. Exhausting. And we didn't actually do all the actual work. All right, what do we got in here? Anything interesting? No. Come on, open up all the drawers. Look, game, you're gonna give me drawers? I'm gonna open them. That's just the rules. Turn the light on. There's. Oh, I thought that was a note. 
There's nothing in here, just some clothes. Cool. That's locked. There's no light switch in here. Just go ahead and close that door while I'm at it. And that light on. Well, this isn't the thing. Oh, okay, we got a, found a backpack. Take that. Oh, don't tell me that like Mark was into some like Nazi stuff. I just realized it's World War II memorabilia. Oh no, okay, good. It's, it says keep keep them flying. I was gonna say, oh, did we find out that Mark's a Nazi? That just makes everything even even more messed up. Also, I'm pretty sure I just got demonetized for mentioning the word. YouTube's de demonetization stuff. Hey, hit the old sweet old punching bag. Also, kind of high for us, I feel like. It's mostly headshots we're going for, but all right. Mm -hmm. Is there something there? I haven't gone upstairs yet. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Thank you. The light. Yeah, it's, certain words can just demonetize you. Although they have seemed to have been more relaxed with that now, especially doing the self -cert certification stuff, all that. Been able to go through and just manually choose if my stuff can be um, it can be monetized or not. And if you do it often enough correctly, they'll eventually just let you get away with everything now. No. Hi. Hello. This light doesn't seem to be working. Fix the external light. Okay, well, I can't do anything right now, so let's go ahead and just cut, close that door. Why are you playing the spooky music there, game? Nothing in there. So what needs to be fixed? How do we fix the external light? It doesn't make any sense. I gotta change the light bulb or something? Because it was one of those long ones, and I don't actually know how to put those in. Okay, and turn the light back on. Nope, that's not for that area. I found out. Gross. What is up there? Oh yeah. Can't reach it. Not with my bare hands. Well, we had a cane at one. Hmm. Well, then. So yeah. Don't, I'm, I'm just not going to turn off lights randomly. Got it? Okay. I didn't even mean to turn a light off. I was just was like, oh, well, that's a lamp I can interact with. That's kind of cool. Try to figure out what that does. All right. So we can go in here. I didn't find the note downstairs, but it's fine. Fine. Everything's fine. Gross. What is up there? All right. So you got to find an attic ease. Just not something. Oh, here you go. Desmond, don't leave your room without making your bed. If you make your bed every morning, you'll have accomplished the first task of the day. That's kind of lame. But alright. Um, there's a, a notebook with a skull on it that I just yeeted through the table. Oh, here you go. Number one. Mark and Hayden are the only two guys that understand me. They're the only friends I've ever had, but I know one day we'll part ways. They'll probably never leave Dorman, but I have big plans. I'm going to be marine like Dad and go on missions all over the world. Number two, I forgot to make my bed when I left for school yesterday. When I got back, Dad was waiting for me. He put me in the room for the rest of the day. It was all my fault. I need to learn discipline. I want to be the best in the academy. Number three, I forgot to close a drawer. Dad put me in the room until midnight. It was my fault again. Number four, someone saw me smoking and told Dad I spent the whole night in the room. I shouldn't be smoking. Wow. All right. So yeah. Strict. Very strict. But he let him put up the word metal on his wall and paint. So that's... Neat, I guess. I don't know. Is that thing? Do people just put like you know stuff like that? Like I, I've done. I have posters. I have posters in my office right now. Even Half Life Two, Ben the Ink Machine, American Mickey's Alice. But I don't think I'd ever just paint a logo into my wall, especially because it looks like a spray from Counter Strike. Um. Okay. Probably don't want to turn this light off. Oh, I do. I can turn it on. Okay, that's good. That's good. Is there anything else around here to check out? No, I'm not really seeing anything else. Can't open that up. God, it's me. I'm making the noise and scaring myself. Anything under the bed? No. Falconer. 
That sounds, that looks cool. That could be a cool comic, I think. I'd, I'd read that. It's locked. Alrighty. Well. I t okay, if I turn this off. Okay, so turning that one off doesn't kill me, but that one does. That's kind of weird, but alright. Uh, what about turning this off? Turning this off doesn't do anything. It seems. Turn the, the light off there. That's right, you. I haven't- oh, I haven't checked out here actually yet. <gasps> right. That's this. That's this area. Alright, so that's broken. We know that. This light doesn't seem to be working. Fix external light. Can I do that through here? Oh, hi. How you doing, fellas? Uh, it doesn't seem like the- oh, you know what? Probably fix the external light through the attic. That's what it is. Because that'll let me- I can't reach it. Not with my bare hands. Yeah, because that'll let me get probably into like an overhang where I can reconnect a wire or something, maybe. So that's locked. Alright, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. We have an idea of what we need to do at least for future episodes. So I hope you're all enjoying this series. And if you are, let me know. Oh, hug me. That's a cute. That's actually pretty cute. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And also, make sure you're subscribed. Just get updates for at least new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye.